guys? Everything Fish here. Bringing you a video today about my striped Raphael catfish. Pretty recently, like, I don't know, when I transferred him into my 75, I think the change might have been a little drastic for him. I don't know what he has, if anything, but I think he's sick. Some kind of bacterial infection, or at the worst case, velvet maybe even. So yesterday, I gave him a salt bath. And today and tomorrow, I'm going to be to treating him as well. So, thought I'd show you guys a video about it. If you want to give your fish a salt bath ever, just to show you how, you know. But the reason I haven't been making videos for like a week is because I got sick last week. And it, it's weird, a lot of the, like fish tank YouTubers got sick. Dustin's fish tanks did too. And one other person, I forget who it was. But anyway, lots of people getting sick, something's going around. I'm better now been better for a couple days but I'm just getting my voice back now so bring you guys a video like I said anyway what you're gonna need if you want to do this pitcher well you don't even need a pitcher just something to put the fish in outside of the tank now if you're doing this with a non catfish or a catfish with not a lot of spines just use a net but since striped rafts have lots of spines on them they can get stuck in nets Using the cup to catch them. Uh, it was fun to catch them yesterday. Not. And then you're going to need... Well, you don't even need this. This bowl is to pour water in out of the pitcher when I'm going to put them back in the tank. You need aquarium salt. Really cheap at your local fish store. And if you're really good with measuring, you don't need this. But if not, dry measure in one half tablespoon for the salt. And this, I'm going to be filling it up to about 8 cups, which is half a gallon. Guys, when you're giving your fish salt baths, you want to do 1 tablespoon of salt to every gallon. So since I'm only doing half a gallon, half a tablespoon. And you can use Epsom salts, which I have here, if you don't have aquarium salt. But if you have aquarium salt, it's highly preferred. So anyway, I'm going to catch the fish. Actually, no, not yet. I'm going to fill this up with tank water, and then catch the fish, and then I'll show you guys stuff. Alright guys, so, you got the salt measured out here, and you got a pitcher full of tank water, about half a gallon, and I'm sorry if this is shaky, it's hard for me to record with my left hand, because I'd rather be steadier with this instead of spilling it all over the place. But, about half a tablespoon of this, a little more than half a gallon of water, because it can't hurt guys when you're... Giving salt baths to catfish, a lot of them can't even have salt baths. The one that can, you're going to want to underdose because a lot of them are very sensitive to salt. Because they are scaleless fish. So, I'm going to pour this in. Stir that up. And it, I'm not going to record the entire thing of dissolving this. So, I'll be back to you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, so uh, got all the salt dissolved in this thing. And now here comes the fun part. I have to catch him in that, and he is down in his little cave. Do what I did yesterday. Put the cup on one side right there. Put my hand on the other side and get him to swim into it. Although it didn't work too well yesterday, he actually came out over here, and luckily he swam into the cup of his own free will. So let's see how long it takes me today. I'm not going to record it because I need two hands for this. I'll be back in a minute, guys. So we got him in the pitcher. That only took about a minute this time. Not near as long. But he's in there. He's not flipping out like yesterday. He looks really calm right now. Although his gills are... Done pretty. Are those his gills? No, nah, it must just be a glare. Yeah, he's pretty calm today. So I'm going to go... I'll let you look at his beautiful face for a couple... Oh, no. There, you can look at his coddle fin for a couple seconds as I gotta set a timer. So set the timer for 12 minutes. With normal fish you could give them probably half an hour and if you had bigger volume because there's not a lot of water in there for him to breathe. So I'm only going to give him 12 minutes, plus he's sensitive to salt. So again, 12 minutes for this guy. 
and I guess I could just talk to you guys about my channel till then like I said haven't been doing videos because I've been sick and I will be doing more and I know I don't think I've told you guys yet what my 75 is going to be themed around I, you've just been seeing me put fish in but the 75 is a South American cichlid tank guys I don't have any cichlids in yet I'm waiting until it gets really mature in a cycle so probably another couple weeks maybe adding my blue grommy in here for my other tank don't quote me on that not sure still debating and for bottom feeders i am getting a bunch more or a few more because you guys know i love my catfish best family in fish keeping well best families anyway a bunch of different catfish families but probably a doradid community maybe an alchenopterid in there which is wood catfish I'm, I don't know. I got a bunch of different catfish in mind. Four line Pima Lotus, horse heads, spotted rafts, jaguar cats. Obviously, I'm not getting all those. I still got to decide. But you'll see in time. And for cichlids, I'm going to be doing a green severum for sure. That's one of my fish. And possibly like a blue acara or a fire mouth. Probably the acara. And that's pretty much it for cichlids, because severums do get really big, guys, if you take good care of them, and I don't want to crowd the tank. Plus, if I have a deratted little community in there, they're going to really filth up the tank. Don't think I really have anything else to talk about right now. If you guys are going to watch my fishing videos, for those of you who are interested in that, they should be starting sometime next week. My local creek's getting stocked. Yay. But if you're just watching my fish tank videos, you don't really care about that. Alright, well, I'm just going to turn off the recording and show you guys when he's back in. So, he's back in his hole. Got into the tank pretty well. Although, while I wasn't recording, guys, he almost got out of the pitcher. He got up to the pouring spout on it, locked his pectoral fin on, just kept swimming. Made a huge mess I had to clean up. <sighs> that fish can be annoying sometimes, but I love him. Grew him from an inch, and almost six months later, he's three and a half inches. Which is why I'm trying to care so much and get him back to health, because he's probably my favorite fish right now. But anyway, yep, he's doing good. Back to the same spot in his hole. Not panting or anything, so hopefully I can get him to eat tonight. It's been 17 days, and... Since I've seen him eat, I mean, he might be eating at night, but when I fed him algae wafers and he's tried to eat them, he couldn't swallow them, no matter how small of a piece I broke them into. But, like I said, hopefully whatever swelling and bloating or just disease in general he has goes away with these salt baths. Gonna give him another one tomorrow, and then I'm just gonna let him recover on his own. I haven't been turning the lights on yesterday, and I won't today, and I won't tomorrow. Saturday is going to be the first day I won't be giving him a salt bath and lights off because I want him to start recovering on his own. I'm giving him the salt baths to help his immune system and get the parasite weak or whatever disease he has weak. And then let his immune system do the rest. So hopefully he recovers good. If not, I'll feel terrible. But stay positive, guys. I know you guys are going to support me with this. Let's go, Leo. Come on. You can do this, right guys? Post in the comments. Let's go Leah, you can recover. Yep, but anyway guys, I think that's it. So, I will see you next time. And good luck with all your tanks. See ya.